Welcome to our incredible eight day motorbike tour around the island of Flores in Indonesia. It's not quite what we thought it was going to be. We're starting on the west side of the island in Labuan Bajo and making our way east stopping at Roteng, Bajawa and finally Ende. Along the way we are greeted by the surprised but welcoming faces of the locals as we venture into the lesser known and less visited parts of Indonesia. We will then drive all the way back to Labuan Bajo, making one overnight stop in Roteng. This is our bike, that's getting us across Flores. Before catching a flight over to the island of Java. So if you would like to come on our Indonesian journey with us, be sure to subscribe. They sacrifice animals here. So sit back, relax and enjoy our final episode of Indonesia by motorbike. 4.30 a.m. and we've got up to go to the Kilimutu Lakes. Um, very, very tired. And we just went to leave and the back gate is locked. So we don't know how to get out. So we need to try and find someone to unlock the gate for us. Kelimutu National Park and the drive here was freezing cold it felt like getting up for work in the morning in England <laughs> in there it was so cold freezing on a my bike. hands are still numb <laughs> yeah we got here just after the sun rose which was okay like apparently it's a bit better to come a bit later on anyway because you get to see the colour of the lakes more so yeah we're just gonna go head up to the highest viewpoint over there and get a better look at the lakes. When you come, make sure you wear layers because it is freezing. Um, I'm literally wearing five layers on top and two on the bottom and I'm still freezing. Especially if you come in on a bike, wear layers. Yeah. And it is cold when you're here as well. But the sun's starting to rise now, so hopefully it'll warm up soon. <laughs> The trek to the top of Kelamutu is fairly easy and only takes 15 to 30 minutes depending on pace and fitness level. Kelamutu National Park contains the three volcanic lakes of Mount Kelamutu. The lakes are one of the most interesting sites in Flores, especially after finding out the locals' beliefs around the area. The lakes are known to regularly change colour to blue, green, pink or brown due to the changes in the underlying gases and elements. The lakes change colour up to six times per year. So this is the other crater um, with the black lake in it, which we couldn't see earlier because it was covered with clouds, so we wasn't sure where it was. Um, but yeah, there it is. Look, the clouds are coming over there now. The locals believe the colours of the lakes have certain meanings and have powerful natural forces. The Blue Lake is a gathering place for the souls of young people who have died. The Red Lake, which was blue on the day we visited, is a gathering place for the souls of the villains who have died, while the White Lake is a gathering place for the souls of the elderly who have died. See there, the water's bubbling, because it's hot. So we've come down from the mountain now into the village next to the mountain called Moni and we're going to get some breakfast. It's just uh, nearly 10 o'clock in the morning now. Sweet potatoes. In Indonesia, whenever you 
park anywhere, you get a crowd, whether that be people or animals. You turn around, you've got animals everywhere, all looking at <laughs> you. But we've just parked up here. We're going to go to the hot springs now. The hot springs are in like a little uh, village, just by some houses down some stairs. So it doesn't look, feel like you're in the right place, but you are. Oh. Right, so it's down here. Getting in. It's really nice. It's actually really like quite cold here, like considering we're in Indonesia, so it's quite nice to have like a warm warm bath. It's at 20 degrees, so that's cold for us. And when you're riding a moped it's super super cold. So it's quite nice to have a hot um, hot springs because all the showers are cold as well. Travel two hours from our accommodation to come to this beach, but we were already about an hour in because we went to the, the lake. So we thought we got another hour to this beach, and then we got a two and a half hour drive back later. Three this, hours. This three is hours. the nicest beach like around here. I'll tell you what though, Indonesia is quite cold. Well, Florence. Sounds really soft. Run it. Yeah, it's really soft. Yeah, it's On the road again. Can't wait to be on the road, road again. again. <laughs> we're leaving Ende today and we're heading back to Labuan Bajo. It might take us two days to do it, yeah. so we're going to see how much we get done today. It's currently 10 to 9 in the morning, so we'll see how much we can travel today. But come with us to see how far we get. All in all, it's about what, 11 hours? Yeah, about 11 hours. Well, that's if a if good we, traffic. If, if we didn't stop, we just went the whole way. It's about 11 hours, so let's see how far we go. Sunrise homestay in Rateng last night. We stayed here exactly one week ago. We'd gone all the way up the island and then we've come back and we did about nine hours yesterday driving non-stop. So yeah, we stopped at Rateng because now today we've got another four hours back to Labuan Bajo. So we stopped here. So this is a really nice place to stay. You get breakfast and dinner included. Really friendly. The guy Jeff is really nice. It was only um, £12 when we stayed last time. For one night and this time it was £13 um, but it's such a good deal because you get your meals included as well in that price and yeah the guy that owns it is really really nice and friendly and welcoming last night we just sat with us like chatting to us about telling us stories about like the tradition and the tradition stuff tradition and like religion and it's interesting wasn't it but yeah it's really good really nice place to stay decent price recommend it and this is our room so this is a bed you get you get a nice little blanket here towels it only gives you water as well um, but yeah it's a simple little room but it's a nice place to stop off for the night by the 
Spiderweb rice fields. Spiderweb rice fields, just outside of Retain. Uh, we just thought we'd stop here on the way back to Labuan Bajo. It was only 15,000 each, so it's not much at all, less than a pound. So yeah. Helps we're... the community out and you get to see something pretty cool. I read online. Yeah. No, um, it's that shape because it's divided for each family member. So that like whole spider web is a, a family's rice field. Oh. So each section is one family member's, I think. we've come to the end of our Flores road trip we hope you enjoyed it we thoroughly enjoyed it one thing we'll say though are the roads are quite bad so if you are going just be wary of that and make sure you're okay to ride a moped on those kind of roads we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves though and we recommend it to anyone who is visiting Indonesia and if you've got this far and you haven't watched episode one I'm gonna put a link here for you to go watch the series from the start in our next video, we're going to be flying into Java. Is there anywhere in Java you'd like us guys to go check out? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave a like for us so we know you're enjoying our content. See you next time. Bye. We're checking out the abandoned Wolobobo, apparently. <laughs> it looks like um, you have to pay normally. Um, that's probably because of like COVID.